And actually, it's the end of time. There is a central problem, though, which is still not solved, which is what lies at the center, lies at the center of a black hole. Now, in pure, just in Einstein's general theory of relativity, actually, it's not right to talk about the center of a black hole, really. So what are we picturing? It's this thing called the singularity. You might think of it as an infinitely dense point to which this massive star collapses. It's kind of the natural way to think of it. But actually, just even in pure general relativity, when you look at a nice map of a black hole, the so-called Penrose diagram named after Roger Penrose, what you see is that the singularity is not really a place in space at all. It's a moment in time. And actually, it's the end of time. So one way of picturing what's happened when a star collapses to form a black hole is that space and time are so distorted that, in a sense, their roles swap. And so what we thought of as an infinitely dense point, a place in space, at the center, at the center of the collapse of the star, if you like, actually becomes a moment in time and the end of time, the singularity. But the nature of that thing uh, was not, and is still not, understood. So that's a great mystery. And it's been long accepted that we will need a so-called quantum theory of gravity, a deeper theory of gravity, in order to explain the singularity. 